31-10 late in the fourth, early in the fourth. Just talk about what your message was to your team. Well, I thought it would be a good idea if we score, but the biggest thing is you just got to stay in there and keep playing because you don't know what's going to happen. And you keep slugging away and put pressure on them by your own level of play, and hopefully they break at some point, and hopefully uh, you make things happen for yourself. And we did that. I thought we did a good job playing a complete game. We played a sloppy game, but we played a complete game. We battled for four or for four, four quarters. Coach, given Luke's comeback history, why pull him in favor of a, a player with no nah, we experience? we were being cautious with Luke, so. He's we hurt? being cautious with Luke, and Holinsky was hot to drive before that. What did you, you see from Tyler? Just your overall impression of what he was able to do tonight? Uh, I thought his uh, I thought his first drive was 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 not you know it started out fine and then he needs to take care of the football better and then and, and you know made some bad choices but then I thought uh, his drives after that he did a really good job. Coach, what was your view on the receivers in the first half? How did you view their play? Uh, not very well. I didn't think I didn't think I thought that our receivers played timid and I think that we got some young guys out there that do one thing in practice and um, uh, you know they have to do everything they do in practice in a game and yeah guys are going to try to batter them around and um, you know we can talk about young but they you know they've got to uh, go out there and play like they deserve to be there a whole game instead of a half but I thought they did the second half and I think this is good for them and will probably help their play in the future. What kept you guys from getting on rhythm offensively in the first half? Uh, I don't know. That's a great point. We're we're like one of the most constipated offenses on earth, and you know we uh, we we played timid and cautious. I thought we were soft up front on the offensive line. I didn't think backs hit the the hole very hard. Uh, we didn't rush the ball well the whole day. I think we became very one dimensional, and then um, you know they just started praying on stuff, and then we didn't push the ball downfield very well. And, um, you know, we got to play better than that. What was your message to the team at the beginning of the fourth quarter? Uh, you rallied them all together. Yeah, just the message was, you know, just uh, get the most out of each individual play. And, and, uh, and uh, you know, don't stop till the clock says zero, zero, zero. And I thought we did a pretty good job of that. It'd be, not, it'd be nice to have four full quarters of that, but we had a quarter. Did you tell them anything different at the start of the overtime? No, not really. Not really. Just <clears throat> make sure everybody's on the <clears throat> make sure everybody's on the same page. It seemed like Tyler, when he got out there, he really started to get the outside receivers involved. Isaiah Johnson and Mac and, and Tavares Martin. Did you see a difference with with him and Luke today in getting the ball outside? Well, I thought I thought we played a little better up front as time went on, and I, I do thought I did think we were awfully one dimensional and just. Uh, uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> I thought we were one dimensional uh, for most of the first half. I thought that we needed to, you know, unleash more. I thought we played too cautious. You know, we played to not screw up, and that's no way to play a football game because nobody wants to watch a football game where somebody's playing to not screw up. Um, you know, you want to see somebody letting it rip and letting it fly, and offensively, that's what, you know. Uh, we needed to do. Are you talking about something other than throwing? I mean, Luke threw the ball downfield a few times and tried to throw long. Was it more? Well, than that? we weren't getting off at receiving. No, our whole I think our whole offense were a bunch of cough, uh, cautious uh, patty cakers out there. Yeah, you know, our offensive line we weren't really whipping anybody. You know, I hope they they're not listening to their press clippings. As a matter of fact, I may never say anything positive about them again. But um, the. Uh, we weren't really moving them. I mean, that whole first half, Boise State did whatever they want to with our offensive line. They did whatever they want to with our running backs, and then they constricted uh, us offensively to the point where we're just making these uh, these little bitty baby passes, and we got receivers who think they're really good players. If you don't believe me, just listen to them talk as they walk around the hall, and um, they're getting jammed and beat up on by kids approximately their same age. And all right, how about that? We got a special guest, Mark Rippin. Um, the uh, all right, coach. Congrats. All right, go Cougs. I appreciate it. Go Cougs. And um, you know, you got to be violent, and you got to get off of that stuff. Otherwise, you know, then all of a sudden, you know, you're sitting there playing with eight guys, and which we did too much of that, and uh, and then 
you know, when we got in a rhythm and all that, then we were pretty explosive. But, you know, I felt like it should have happened sooner, but it did. And I thought it was a huge game as far as from a team standpoint, the entire team hanging together, the entire team pulling together. And huge there, there's not a side of the ball that didn't have uh, not just contributions, but huge contributions. So it's a fantastic team win. It's not as complete of a game as I would have liked, but, you know, we got plenty to work on. Mike, the fact that Luke was sort of not in a rhythm that first half, how much of that contributed to you pulling him in favor of Polinsky <coughs> in the second well, half? I wanted him to see how easy it would be out there, and then he got jacked up. So, Coach, did you give at any point Luke some sort of ultimatum or a leash and say, look, this is an option? Uh, no. I, you know, the biggest thing is that sometimes just an extra set of eyes as it slows down from the sideline will kind of clarify things for you, which I think it did. But, and then, um, you know, and, and then, of course, uh, Alinsky had the hot hand at the end, and, you know, we were being cautious, and so then uh, and he played well. So before you pulled him, did you let him know that that was going to be the situation, or did he just... I don't, I don't understand the question. Like before... I let a lot of people know about a lot of situations today. I have more situations today than I typically have in about three games. But, yeah, we've talked about all kinds of situations. On that note, is this one of the more wild, strange, eventful games you've coached? No, oh, it was a wild game. There's no question about it. You know, it, 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 it was a wild game. I thought our, uh, you know, our defense played really well early. They had a little bit of a hollow spot there in the third quarter. I thought they did a good job getting turnovers. I thought special teams, uh, we were steady and did some very consistent things. And I felt like our special teams uh, did well. And then, um, uh, you know, offensively, I think uh, the two teams kind of swapped halves, really. Coach, on that Powell punt, it seems like he was trying to lift it in the air and, and not beat the uh, the coverage down the field. Uh, is that what you're? Is that what he's trying to do there to try and try and I'm hit not a player? Sure which one? We punted way more than I'm interested. Never in punting, but uh, some of them were good ones. Most of them were good ones. Mike, what did you think of Tyler's poise, composure, and those things? Uh, I think I thought after two series it was really good. After two series it was really good. I thought. Anything else for Coach? <clears throat> All right. Thank All right. you. Bernard Bell's coming up.